So, are you having a good time with your virtual camp? I've got an activity for you here that you can do indoors or outdoors. You're going to need a little bit of equipment, which is just something to write with and something to write on. So, if I get mine out of my camp rucksack, I've got a pencil and a notebook, and I've got some clean pages in the notebook ready to write on. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you something called a, a cipher, and that's another name for a code. Now, if you know anything about the history of scouting, you'll know that our founder, Lord Baden-Powell, was an officer in the British Army. Well, he was also a spy at that time as well, and I'm sure he would have sent secret messages to, through and used codes. Maybe he used this code. So I've got a message for you. Do you know what that says? Well, you will do if you look at this activity. I hope you enjoy it. My message looked a bit strange, didn't it? Funny characters that I was using. Well, let me show you how those characters all work and how you can write some messages. This is what a pig pen cipher looks like. You can see that each of the letters are in a grid or in a cross. And we need to start with that to work out how to use the code. So if you've got a piece of paper and a pen available, then you need to start by writing, drawing a grid. Sometimes this is called the tic-tac-toe code because it looks a bit like the grid you use for noughts and crosses. You need two of those. And the second one needs to have dots in it, otherwise we'll get confused which of the letters are shown. And then you need two crosses. And again, the second one's got dots in it, so we can tell the difference between the two. Now we're going to start filling in the letters. And it's easy to remember how to do this. You just write them in the same direction as if you were writing a message. So you start on the left and you go across to the right. So let's fill the first three letters in. There you can see we've written A, B, C from left to right. And now we do the next letters in the next row. And then the next row. And now we do the same in the second grid that's got the dots. Again, go in the same direction. And finally, the last three that go in those grids. Now we need to move over to the crosses and we do the same thing. We start at the top and then go from left to right and then the last section. And then finally, to finish the alphabet, we move over to the final grid. And so now you've built up the pig pen cipher. Now you can start writing your messages. So let's keep a little version of the cipher and the code available so we can look it up. And here is a message we'd like to write. We'd like to say hello. So look at the first letter that you want to write. That's an H. Find the H on the grid. And you can see that the H is a box, but it hasn't got a line at the bottom. So you need to draw the same thing, a box with no line at the bottom. Now you need to go to the next letter and find the right symbol for that letter. The E is a box with all of its sides drawn. So draw one of those. Now the next two letters are the same, so we can copy the same symbol. Again, go and find the L in the grid. This time it's a box with two sides and a dot, so we need two of those. And then finally the O. That's a box with three sides and a dot. So now we've got our message. Hello. Now you can go and write whatever messages you'd like. And to help you, because it's difficult to see things on a video sometimes, we've written a download so that you can see the code and there's a message in there wishing you all happy camping. So have fun with your codes and leaving messages. Well, now you know exactly what that means, don't you? Um, I've done this with marker pen on a piece of paper, but remember you could use the pig pen code outside as well. 
um, maybe you could draw out the shapes with sticks and stones so that you made messages for people out on a trail. So that's something you could try in your back garden if you've got one now. Have fun with your code and enjoy your virtual camp and have good fun with scouting. Bye bye.